Ghana has been touted as a booming business and investment hub over the years. Despite the country's heavy dependence on imports, many foreign and international investors have pitched camp in Ghana due to its peaceful business and political climate. A lot of successful and big name brands that are the everyday go-to shops and locations for Ghanaians are surprisingly not entirely or even partly owned by Ghanaians, of which some came as a surprise to me personally. And this video is meant to simply throw some light on them as we could greatly learn from these successful names so stick to this video to the end as i detail these mega businesses here established their worth and respective owners before we begin as always i would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel let's get right into it at number one Papaya fast food. Papaya goes down in the memory of Ghanaians as one of the best fast food joints the country has ever had. By its name, one would instinctively think it's owned by a Ghanaian, but no, it isn't. Papaya Fast Food Limited was incorporated as a limited liability company on the 20th of November 1990 and was issued a certificate to commence business on the 17th of June 1991. The company has the distinction of being the pioneer of fast food restaurants restaurants in Accra. Over the years, Papaye has kept faith with a strategy which was to prepare fast food using recipes designed by the company, thereby giving their food a unique flavor. This is indicated by the manner in which Papaye has become a household name in Ghana. The brand has a record of over 6,000 food orders daily in all its three branches. The owner is Arabian by name Samir Kaumoni. Samir employs over 300 people. It is gratifying to note that Papaya has earned itself an enviable position in the hospitality industry and it goes down in the memory of Ghanaians as one of the best fast food joints the country has ever had. At number 2, Melcom. Ghana's largest retail shopping center, Melcom Plus, from a single store in 1989, has come a long way in its service-oriented investments in the favor of convenience and affordable shopping in Ghana. Apart from capturing an extensive retail market share with a network of 51 Melcom retail outlets and 10 cash and carry depots spread all over Ghana. The group is well diversified into other industries as well. It was started in 1989 by Indian magnate Bhagwan Kupchandani. His late father, Ramchat Kupchandani, had arrived in the Gold Coast in 1929 as a 14-year-old to work as a store boy, which led to its creation in the long run. Melcom Group of Companies is a family business. However, the chairman of Melcom Group of Companies, Mr. Kupchandani, passed away at 84 on January 25, 2021. At number 3, Marina Mall. Marina Mall is arguably one of the best and popular shopping centers in Accra. The mall hosts about thousands of visitors each and every day. Marina Mall is located at Airport Bypass Road in the capital, Accra. Since its inception in Accra in 2003, the Marina Mall has given a unique shopping experience for families from all walks of life. Central and West Africa are amongst the tenants of the mall's six-story office tower, which spans 3,250 square meters. Marina Mall contains a combination of designer apparel labels, kids entertainment, a large supermarket, and a diversified food court with over 45 outlets and a gross leasable space of 9,000 square meters split across three levels. Marina Mall is a cutting-edge retail center with a unique dual commercial development that includes offices, one of the country's largest supermarkets, an entertainment center, restaurants, fashion stores, and health and beauty care stores. It's a prestigious shopping mall where the entire family can shop, enjoy, relax, and have the best shopping experience possible. Marina Mall belongs to the Marina Group of Burkina Faso, an established Burkina Bay corporation. And finally for this list, at number 4, Trasaku. Recounting the history of the Trasaku Group is to immerse yourself in the ethos of the Tarikon family, which began in 1968 when Ernesto Tarikon, together with his father and two brothers, left the small town of Trasaku Abruzzo in Italy and moved to Ghana, West Africa. Since the 90s, the work that began on the Trasaku 
Osako Valley Project, a prestigious residential area a few kilometers from Accra, a nerve center of Ghana, has been ongoing. In this location are charming villas, large parks, shops and restaurants that transform the area into a jewel for living and leisure, which gives you the feeling of being in a place which is really luxurious. The founding company of the Trasaco Group is the Trasaco Estate Development Company, specialized in the construction of complex real estate projects and which over the years has secured the assistance of highly qualified professionals in the real estate sector. At the moment, the Trasaco Estate Development Company manages primarily prestigious and strategic projects for Ghana. Trasaco Group within Ghana is what has been able to build a strong empire that employs a workforce of about 4,000 people. Meanwhile, as the country is currently going through economic hardships, Ghanaians have asked the government to ensure that foreign companies and businesses should be made to retain a specific percentage of their profits in Ghana. They believe that this will reduce the pressure on the Ghana cities. And this insight, a leading channel on developmental projects and tourism in Ghana, never misses the opportunity to sell Ghana to our viewers, both in Ghana and abroad, as the perfect destination for investment. These established brands set the premise that it's possible to establish a solid brand and business empire, employing a huge chunk of the Ghanaian working force, just like Pizza Man, a Ghanaian-owned brand is striving to achieve. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of these. Also, check out this video next on amazing developmental projects going on in Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.